All right, so back here, um, we have a couple of connectors. Uh, this is our power connector. So this blind mates into DC power. So there's no, uh, in this compute sled, there's no AC power supply. We've got, we've got DC coming in from that bus bar. We've got our, our rectifiers and our power shelf that are plugging in AC power there. That's coming into DC. This is blind mating into that DC. We've got our bus converter here that's taking that from 54 volts on the bus bar down to the 12 volts that we use elsewhere, though that we use in the system. Uh, the, uh, we've got then our, our two uh, network connectors, these are our XMAX connectors. These connectors contain both our high speed 100 gig networking and our lower speed networking for the service processor, which is back here. So the, the, the service processor exists on a separate network, so we can talk to this thing when our host CPU is powered off. And the actual network connection happens through these, these XMAX connectors. So if you're familiar with a, a traditional kind of commodity rack and stack machine, you often see another set of cabling coming out of the back um, for the, the, the BMC. Here, that service processor goes, it, we use one of our, our unused pairs here on the XMAX connectors. So we've got two XMAX connectors. Uh, each of these is, th this is the, 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 the two by 100. Those are going to different switches. So we've got two switches in the rack. Um, one of these is going to one, one that's going to the other. Uh, this connector over here is actually a PCI connector. This connector is only enabled in two different cubbies in the rack. And this allows for a, a, a gimlet, uh, this compute sled, to attach to an adjacent switch and it can control the switch. So on that switch, there's not a separate compute element that controls it. It's controlled by one of our sleds in the rack, um, a special gimlet that we call a scrimlet that, that manages that, that switch. Um, and then these, uh, these guides here are mechanical guides that um, to, to assure that we don't actually uh, bend the pins or otherwise puncture them for these XMAX connectors. So we want to smoothly mate that in. And uh, Doug Women and our mechanical crew have done a terrific job of making sure that we can that we can make that in smoothly without damaging any of the equipment. That is your tour of the back of the game.